Hey everyone, Kieran Price here. Today we are going to be learning how to clean our clippers and it is as simple as that. Um, I've got a lot of clippers that um, since Christmas they haven't been used which is obviously not a very good thing and they obviously haven't been washed or taken care of or stuff like that. So in this video what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew them, take the blades apart, give them a wipe down, um, spray them inside, spray the motor a little bit then from there we're going to realign the blades and then we're going to just put a little bit of oil around the edges so let's get straight into the video all right guys so i have three or four even disgusting pair of clippers i actually don't know how to undo these ones they're quite new so we're going to leave these ones out of it today these ones they get passed today then from here these are manky. They're so dirty. They're, they're actually grim. And they are not the nicest clippers. So I'm going to budge these two out of the way a second. And we are going to start and screw them. Now, it's very simple. I just need a Phillips head screwdriver. And away we go. Always, always remember as well, I'm very lucky I've got a very clear table, but... If you're working in a busy section or busy shop, just get a small box and make sure that you're putting your bolts in a small box. I'm very lucky. We're going to find out in a minute how lucky I am because more likely I'm going to lose them. But I'm going to put them just over to the side slightly so then they do not get lost. You guys are going to think I am absolutely disgusting because I'm going to show you what is inside of these. Grim clippers, <laughs> they are not. <laughs> the nicest. But all you, honestly, all you need, I'll probably go take this little bit out as well. Um, if, if it wants to budge, hence why I've got this little trusty friend here. So I can just pop that out. These do come out, by the way. It's not like they're stuck in there forever. Then you've got loads of room to see where you're going. Nail brush, very simple nail brush. Just get yeah. All in there. Make sure you're getting into like, oh, turn them on. Make sure you're getting into this part here because this is where your clipper goes up and down. And if there's a lot of hair in there, you'll find that it might get stuck or jammed. And then you'll end up tightening this. And that, what they'll do is they'll fray the bolt. So then your clippers will become loose. So my advice is always clean this bit out here. You can always get a hair dryer in it as well if you really really want to but they look a million billion times better in there should have brought cloth really because this desk is going to get filthy again just with this as you, you can already see where the um nail is getting dark already even with just two seconds of it but Okay, so always put your bits, clippers to the left, little parts to the right, so you know where everything is. That is filthy. And the best thing about a nail brush is obviously it's very fine too, so you can get through your blades quite a lot more simple than maybe a I've seen a lot of people use like wave brushes and stuff like that to clean them, but I find that the teeth on the wave brush are still like very, very thick and very hard as well as the nail brush is a lot softer. And as you can see, I've got all the hair off of there. That is nice and clean now. You, you can, I mean, I've seen people do it as well. If you want a quick fix, you're halfway through the day, you feel like your clippers are um, becoming... just a bit shit like not very good what oh, shit what word can i use they're just if your clippers are just not working as well you feel like they're getting clogged you can use the barbicide trick which i'm probably going to show you on these ones before i open them out so i'm going to get grab these ones show you that the um the barbicide trick can be used on these as well but for that i need barbicide so we'll go grab it in two seconds. 
but let's finish these off anyway first so now this blade is clean this blade is done I can slowly start to put them back but <clears throat> right so we're back and this is just Right, so we are back, and as you can see, I've just added little things that at the very start of the video I completely forgot about, which is my fault, and I can only apologise. <laughs> right. Putting these back on, this is very, very simple. Now you want to make sure on the seniors, and I think it's the same for the Magis, is this little part here, this little bit here, flicks into that bottom bit. So you don't put that over, you put that underneath first. You let it ride on top of the two metal pieces. Push down. It's not going to do it for me today. There you go. And it just clicks in for place. Now, this is the tricky bit because you have to hold this bit with your thumb while you get this. And then you have to, with pressure, slide across until the diamond squeezes into that bit. Now, that is very, very important, that part, because if you don't, it's just going to keep popping out and popping out. You need a lot of pressure to put on that bit there. Again, you still need the pressure, so I'm going to then pressure this over here. I can still, if you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see that wants to push away from me. So I'm just putting the pressure down. I'm going to get my first screw. It doesn't have to line up straight away. Let's get, oh, I always say to people, get your screws in first and line it See, this is what I mean with screws. <laughs> Get your screws in first. And line it up later. Because then at least it's held down. So I put my screws in, but I don't put them all the way tight. So I'm just have to adjust my fingers up. Okay, right now. That one was a little tight. So then what I do is working out your eyes to your blade so from here these two points of your blade here try and keep them in the center eyes because what you'll find is when people are zero gapping they'll push one over to one side and then when your client gets a haircut this blade here is going to tap either their head or their ear so first things first when you're zero gapping always make sure this bit here is centerized now Depending on your clipper, I always come from this angle of my eye. I look downwards towards it so I can get clearer vision. I always have this lever up as well. Now, another tip when zero gapping is sometimes your clipper, as you can see, it's still got room because I'm not tightened all the way up yet. So when you get it imperfect, with your finger and your thumb, pull it and steady it into place. Now I think that, I said I don't want to gap too, too much. That's probably about perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly tighten these up. I don't want to rush it because what you do is when you rush it, you might accidentally pull the blade down. Now I know, see that there, I've done that a little bit too gapped. And you'll know if you've done it too gapped. The reason is why you know you've done it too gapped is because when you when you run your finger over it, it should feel smooth. If it doesn't ever feel smooth, then if you can feel the black the back blade, then that's what your client's gonna feel on their head. So always make sure when you're gapping, just do the gap test, just run it across your palm. You'll know if it feels smooth, that's what the client's going to feel. Even turn it on. Just run it over your fingers. Because then you know if it hurts you, it's going to hurt someone else. Very simple. Now with the oil. Oh, no, I'm going to get oil on my nice desk. A couple of drops. I like to do it with the blade off first. And then with the blade on afterwards. So then what I'll do is I'll get some tissue. Put the tissue down. And then I'll just turn the blade on and let the oil work its magic. And slowly see it through. You might even get a couple of I know a lot of people do this and they shake to get it out. And as you can see, there is hair there.
but it's best just to let it run its course. I think shaking the motor too much, obviously, is not the greatest thing in the world. Okay, they seem to be done for me. Now with this, I just want to dab it down, just give it a wipe with the oil that's got on it, just to shine them up, make them look pretty for the next customer, which we don't actually know when the next customer is. <laughs> it could be April, it could be May, it could be 2023, but we are going to be ready for this next customer. I'm so glad I didn't clean my clippers before I left, so then I could show you guys. Right, on to the next one. Now, these are dirty. This is a little cool test. Get some barbicide. Make sure the lid's on. So I'm going to get some barbicide. And small pot. Now, this is just a gel pot that we have in the shop, which we've used all the gel in. I'll show you exactly how much you need, probably... Not even a lid full, half a lid. Pour it in there. Water, salt. Fill that up. Now you can use a screwdriver and just give it a nice little swell, make sure it's all mixed in there. Mixed in there nice. This is everyone's favourite bit. People love this and it's the... Right, are you guys ready? This is a good bit. You can see all the hair is going on this. Uh, are you getting that up there? I'm trying to not get soaked myself. So this is what, this is a quick fix to just making sure you can dip it quite low. Just give it a minute. Okay. Let them bubbles clear off a bit, but you... You can see how much hair is in that. That is disgusting. And I'll be honest, other than giving them a wipe down, I think the blades are looking pretty clean on them now. I might just wipe down in here. And there we have it. These ones are a quick fix one and they are done. Oh my God, I need to spill that everywhere. They're done. So we managed to take all these out, clean them out. Quick fix on these ones. With the TPOB trimmer. Now what I'm going to do is here is that is a skeleton trimmer. So um, anything past here, you're, you're not going to, I'm going to dip it in and see how much I get out of it because I don't think there's actually going to be that much that needs to go in it. Nothing's really come out of them. I think with these ones, I clean them pre-lockdown I made sure that they were all clean and because I have been trimming my beard with them um, and I've been cutting my own hair with them so they're, they're quite clean already they don't really need cleaning but that there is grim so guys we've gone through taking clippers apart re-putting them realigning your clipper We've also gone through the quick fix of the barbicide in the water, which helps loads. And we've also gone through a quick fix on a trimmer, which actually they didn't really need to do it, especially on the skull ones. I would, I would say gap your skull ones and then never really take them apart because they don't need taken apart. You just can flip them in the water, quick dip. 
quick rub with your um tissue and you're all, you're away you're good to go but with everything i'm just going to put that over here slightly so the one thing we didn't do is get the oil now again i'm going to put the tissue down exactly the same on your trimmers one just in that crevice there right along the blade just one in there and turn it on and see what happens just let the oil slowly drip out of it I tend not to shake it when I do it personally it's just something that I just don't do um, I will say about oils just very very quickly is in my personal opinion all oils are the same um, I know certain clipper companies will say that their oil will only work on their clippers um, some oils are thinner than others but as long as I've got the either the wall oil or the Andis oil or Osta, Bablis, anything like that as long as you've got a clipper oil then they will work with your clippers don't go using sunflower oil or something like that because then it will clog up your clippers I'm just gonna put some oil on these bad boys as well quickly In my next video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you how to take apart your Babyliss clippers and recase them with different casing. So me and Zach have both, well, you can see us getting some hair up. Me and Zach have both, well, me, Zach, Anna Richmond and Corbin all have the Babyliss gold clippers. So what we have tended to do, we've got gold pair, rose gold pair, taken them apart and just put so now we've got all different colors on ours and it's it's quite fun actually doing all that you see there that tissue is kind of dirty so doing the quick fix as you know doesn't get rid of all the hair it is a quick fix it looks nice and it looks cool but it's still a quick fix and there we have it guys as i am not cutting hair at the minute until another two months please um comment down below let me know what you'd like to see next um we're, we're trying to get two free videos out a week plus the podcast if you like the podcast um let me know in the comments down below what do you want to hear on the podcasts we've got loads of things we want to talk about we want to cover haircuts we want to talk pricing we want to talk every be like a bit of everything really um clipper battles as well and then we're going to rate some barbers so if you're a barber and you'd like us to rate your channel or rate your instagram please comment down below your instagram name and we can rate you um live on our podcast <laughs> that'll be fun that'll be fun um and yeah guys if you like the video like the video subscribe and peace peace